What's up guys? Welcome back to another mental health video. Uh, I know I've been at my parents so much, but I am here for five days, probably. I think I spent two days here, so probably three more. Because my parents are out of town, Casey broke her arm. So long story of how that happened. So I'm at my parents for three more days to help out my twin. Um, so there's that, but let's just jump right into this video. I have a whole, um, whole bunch of notes here on the topic we're going to talk about today and my water in case I get thirsty because you got to stay hydrated. Um, so let's jump right in. So we're going to be talking today about physical abuse. So physical abuse means any non-accidental act or behavior causing injury, trauma, or other physical suffering or bodily harm. So there is the National Domestic Violence Hotline and the phone numbers to call is 800-799-7233 and to text, just text START to 88788. Um, and so that uh, is the call and text line for the National Domestic Violence Hotline and what to expect when you do contact them um, is every contact to, to them will be completely personal. They'll keep your information confidential and it will just be personal to you and that person you are on the hotline. Um, and all the advocates there are go through very extensive training and they, they're everything like I said is confidential and they recognize like your courage in taking this step and they thank you for reaching out and um all that stuff and then what really happens in the call is they want to make sure you're in a safe space to talk like you're um uh like you're at your house or an apartment or outside away from that abuser or the um your partner or whoever is abusing you they want to make sure that you are away from them because usually if you try talking to um talking on this hotline with the partner the partner or abuser would get mad um and would most likely take it out on you um so I would recommend, and the domestic violence website recommends you talk in a safe environment, in a safe place where you uh, know that you're alone. And also if your abuser does walk in um, to make sure you're safe, immediately hang, the, hang up the phone if you are talking to him and your abuser does walk in, delete any website information about it um, or any evidence that you were there so um that partner doesn't find out again that is also on the website i did a lot of reading up on the website and just what they do who they are and all of that kind of stuff so that's what they highly recommend also clear your website history um because it will show up on there just to make sure you're safe and that nothing happens more to you um and there's, like I said, I read up a lot about it on the domestic um, violence website, and I will link that in the description below so that if you do need help or you do need that text line or that call, you can go to the website and get as much help as you need. So it'll be in the description below. Signs of physical abuse are bruises, cuts, um, reoccurring trips to the hospital. If you are finding a friend, a family member, or just someone you know having reoccurring hospital visits um, for just weird, just things that seem weird, um, I would check on that um, because it's most, not most likely, but it could be physical abuse um, because they'll have they'll go to the hospital check it out make sure like you're okay but um it, you'll go to the hospital a lot for like bruises and cuts and everything like that um but along with the physical aspect of physical abuse there are um eternal stuff that does happen um in teens kids and probably even adults 
Um, so what happens um, is, I gotta turn my page over, is they can socially withdraw, they can isolate themselves, not really wanna do activities, hang out anymore. They won't wanna answer phone calls. Um, and it could lead to depression, anxiety, even anxiety or depressive disorder, um, and maybe even PTSD, um, which if you want to know more about PTSD, I just did a mental health video on PTSD on my channel, so go check that out. Um, and they could also go, go down the road of drugs, alcohol, because they think that they don't have any control, that abuser has all that control of, um, and they don't have any control over their, their lives because the abuser makes all the decisions for them. And they're just too afraid to speak out, do anything, so they will go down, or they, I don't want to say they will, but they could go down that route of alcohol, drugs, and down all of that. Um, which you can try. I highly recommend in all my videos, I will say it all the time. You can try therapy, you can go to EMDR therapy, you can go to talk therapy. I highly recommend therapy. It just helps. It helps you process through everything you've been through. You can use, it could teach you great coping skills of how to get through it and how to live through it. And I just highly, highly recommend going to therapy. I love it. If I could be in therapy right now, I would, trust me. Um, and it's just a great way to get the help you need. If you do need it, physical abuse is, is it's more common than I would hope, than I, it's more common than I thought it was. Cause when I did a lot of the research, it's, I wish it wasn't as common as it is because it's so sad that kids, teens, even young adults go through that. And even adults go through that physical abuse. It's just, it's so sad. And it saddens my heart that people do go through that. And, um, and it's just, it's just so sad. So um, that's why I made this video because I want to make people more aware of what they can do and they can reach out and um, I will put the domestic violence website down in the description below. I will also put their number and their text line down below. And also um, I'm going to put my Instagram account down below moments to inspire Instagram account where I post about mental health and therapy and just anything related to mental health. Um, so I'm gonna put that in the description down below, but I hope you found this video informational. Um, if you want me to do a video about something you're interested in or you have a question, you could always send them in on my comments. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time.